channel welcome and if you're a returning og what is up so today i'm gonna be showing you how i did my eye makeup so this is a cut crease look but it is a more advanced type of cut crease look so i'm gonna just be breaking down what your girl did to achieve my makeup look so i hope that you guys do enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys smash that like button down below also subscribe to my channel and join the crew if you are not a crew member and yeah with that being said let's get into it all right, you guys, so getting into this look, I have done one of my eyes off camera per usual. This is what it looks like. Super duper cute. I really love how it turned out. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys the palette that I'm using to do this entire look with because I did go in with one palette and then we can get into, you know, how your girl did this. So of course I am using the matte book from the crayon case. Like since I've got this palette, I just like, I love picking it up it's so bomb um if you guys don't know it is a complete matte palette and it just has every single color in the rainbow and this palette is definitely great for colorful looks and the pigment is just so amazing so um i love picking it up so uh we about to get into how your girl did this look so make sure you guys stay tuned so taking the shade from the matte book, I'm going to take the yellow and just pack it into my inner corners, um, but a little bit above my crease area. And I'm actually just really packing this color on because with yellows, you really have to build the color up because it is such a light color. But I'm just packing that up until I got the color payoff that I wanted. Now taking a fluffy brush, I'm taking the green shade and I'm going to blend that right next to it. Now the rest of the colors in this palette are very, very pigmented. So I didn't have to really do too much building up because these colors already have amazing pigment. Um, now I'm taking this blue shade and I'm swinging the blue out as you guys can see. Um, this was a really, you know, dramatic cut crease. As I said earlier, this was like definitely a more advanced look and you know, I'm just doing what i do so i am going back and forth between the three colors and just making sure that everything is very very blended and also just you know making sure that the color payoff is the way your girl wanted it to be So now I'm taking a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean the area of where, you know, I want my crease to be cut. I like to do this because I have very wrinkly eyelids and my eyelids tend to crease really bad when too much product is on my lid or if my lid is oily, like literally my eyeshadow will just look so wrinkly. So I like to just clean my base so then that way I don't have product on top of product and, you know, um, another reason why I did this is so that when I cut my crease, my like concealer wouldn't blend with the colors since I am using colors that are very, very pigmented. So I just clean my area and then I also take a paper towel and just go over where I, you know, just took the makeup wipe and cut my crease because I just had to get the, you know, the makeup wipe oil and residue off my eyelid so that my eyelid is dry for when I am applying this concealer on to your girl's lid For this part of my lid, I am going to apply the colors in the opposite direction of what I applied them on the top. So the top I did yellow, green, and blue from the inner corner to the outer corner. So from the outer corner to the inner corner, I'm going to do yellow, green, and then blue. I hope this makes sense, you guys. You're going to see what I'm doing, but I'm just pretty much just applying the color in that same order. 
also the same thing that i did for the top with making sure you know everything was well blended i'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom so i'm gonna apply the shades you know pack the color on really well and also you know blending at the same time and then once i have them all on then i'll go back and you know clean up whatever i need to clean up I hope that you guys love how this look is turning out so far. If you are, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, please. And if you are not part of the crew and you want to join, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every single time your girl drops a video. And yeah, I just wanted to pop in and say that real quick. But y'all, this look is turning out bomb. Make sure y'all smash that like button though, for real. It helps my channel grow. Now that I got everything blended, I am taking my Juvia's Place Black Gel Liner and I am going to give myself a nice little wing. Y'all, I really have been obsessed with this gel liner lately. Um, I remember it was one point in time when, you know, when I first started out doing makeup, I could not stand gel liner. I just felt like it was like, you know, too thick and I just didn't like how it looked. But now I am literally obsessed, especially with Juvia's Place Liner. Their liner is like so smooth. It like really glides on to, you know, everything. And I just overall, I really like this liner a lot. Um, So, yeah, I'm just giving myself a nice little wing. Sorry, y'all. I had to like move the camera. I need to literally be... <laughs> um. I need to be right up on a mirror when I'm doing my wing liner because, hunty, I need to be focused because I, I literally, I suck at doing wing liners. So, yeah, I need, I need these little eyeballs to be up close and personal to this eye because if I would have messed up this look, hunty, I would have been mad, okay? So now I'm adding some silver glitter liner. I actually got this liner off of Amazon. It came with like a pack of a bunch of different colors. I will have it in the description box down below because these liners actually are really, really bomb. But um, it was just a cute little touch to this look. Like I really love like the little touch of glitter. So um, after just adding the liner to the top of the black liner, I am going to add a couple little dots to, you know, the actual area of where I cut my crease. I don't know if you guys could see it on the other side, but I don't know what made me do it. But it was just like really, really cute. So um, yeah, I really am like in love with this look so far. Um, so make sure you guys give the your girl a thumbs up, please, and thank you. So I am done with my eyes. They look so bomb. I really love how it turned out. So I am going to pop on some lashes and these are the lashes that I am using today but I am going to apply these off camera and then I am also going to do the rest of my face makeup and then I will come back 
And here we are with the finished look, you guys. I really love how I did my makeup. It really turned out so pretty. I love my hair. My hair turned out bomb today, okay? And I'm just feeling good, and I am severing all types of looks, baby, okay? I'm severing breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a whole snack, okay? <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. It really does help my channel grow. And then if you guys want to join the crew, it is free. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications and you'll get notified every single time I drop a video. And with that being said, I shall catch you guys in my next one.